Good morning guys and welcome to the new video. Uh, I was just mixing my intro workout and my daily like half a gallon of my concoction, ghost, aminos, etc, etc. Long story short, I actually didn't film, didn't plan to film at all, but I realized that we don't have any more videos and I love to keep you guys updated. And uh, as you can see from the title, I already kind of told you in the last video, but uh, are we starting prep again? We are, guys, starting the prep again. And today is a Monday, I don't know when I'm gonna upload this video, but today is a Monday, January 29th. And officially today, we're exactly 15 weeks and a five days out. Did we start already the prep as we are supposed to, since like usually you start a prep 16 to 20 weeks out. We didn't start the prep yet because my body composition, as I said in the last video, is still pretty good. The calories and macros are still really high. They're actually gonna be on the screen right now what our current macros uh, for this whole week as well are. Plus two cheat meals per week on Tuesday after uh, chest and shoulders and on Saturday after the back. We still have a cheat meals as well. We still pretty much didn't start the real push, the real prep yet, the real cut, right? We are trying to maintain the size because these calories and macros that are you seeing right now are pretty much my kind of maintenance with those two cheat meals right now. And uh, I am someone that leans out extremely fast. So knowing from the last time that um, when we prepped how fast I actually got lean, uh, we have a different approach this time uh, but also we have a different approach and the reason of that being is because unfortunately I can't do longer bulk anymore uh, the reason of that being I have uh, some obligations on summer I need to go uh, back to Europe I'm a best man to my one of my childhood best friends etc and I really don't want to be prepping during my vacation in Europe during the traveling during the like just being occupied especially in that time i would probably be around three to four weeks out so being on a wedding best man etc being miserable around my girlfriend stuff like that was out of occasion so we pretty much needed to choose anything that is before my trip and there was only one single show and my show is going to be on uh may 18th or 17th i'm not sure i think it's juniors usa's so now we know whoever is competing there um i don't give a crap saying it out loud I don't, I'm not hiding anything uh, I know I'm gonna come as best as I can so whoever beats me it's better if someone beats me <laughs> but um it, that's gonna be the show for my second pro card attempt uh, did we have enough time to pretty much book to put some size I'm not sure we are definitely way bigger than we were in the last show I'm currently 220 pounds and I'm still really lean so uh, last show weight was 193 pounds so I definitely think that on the next show I will be bigger and as long as we nail the the conditioning which I always have uh, I think we will we'll be fine so I'm actually excited so I'm uh, pretty much using next two weeks to kind of mentally prepare for a real push for a start of the prep because from 13 weeks out guys we're gonna start with the structured meal plan and then the thing's gonna start rolling pretty much so until then this is a pre-prep of the start let's just say we are cleaning uh, we are in the cleaning phase cleaning up the diet uh which means pretty much we're gonna have a whole foods organic foods and stuff like that but the macros are still pretty much the same so not so much flexible uh, it is flexible but not so much unhealthy things and that's gonna be for the next uh, two weeks pretty much and uh, when we are starting the structure meal plan so with that said i picked up the camera to tell you that and probably like be showing you the meals throughout the whole day because now we know the macros and everything here i have my ghost aminos glutamine and, and everything greens concoction now i'm about to make my breakfast which is pretty much always the same i'm um, gonna show you the breakfast calories and macros and just walk you probably throughout this whole day and uh maybe tell you a little bit more of uh what's the plan with everything how we're gonna uh roll that and etc etc so uh whoever is new like share, subscribe i'm about to make my breakfast see you in a second uh, what is why am i so yellow what is with the what is with the bell out the bell okay i hope it's better now uh the meal is ready guys it's gonna be rolling on the screen just before that to show you three plates that i actually do have that i didn't just film that 
per usual guys my breakfast is always the same uh, it's always clean pretty much so there is not gonna be a lot of changes in my first meal of the day this carb source is always uh, potato always and then I mix around either is that bread either is a oatmeal uh, in this case today I kind of crave rice cakes some fast carbs I was craving that so I put three whole eggs on a rice cakes and on one is also some avocado I have a 400 grams of uh, potatoes from an air fryer and I have a 250 grams of uh, egg whites egg beaters in this case same thing with uh, 80 grams of a uh, spinach and that's pretty much the first meal of the day that's not gonna be changing a lot uh, it's probably gonna be just uh, certain amounts I change amounts every single day but uh, it's pretty consistent to be honest so the calories and macros for the first meal are gonna be listed right now on the screen I actually have a lot of things to do a lot of work to do today today is a check-in day Monday so right now I'm just gonna work until my pre-workout meal which I'm gonna show you and uh, then we're gonna go uh, in the gym and hit our back session which we have a three times per week still but that's also probably gonna change so uh, gonna indulge into this meal and I'll catch you after that Alright guys, I am literally getting ready for the gym. I just need to put my uh, my hoodie on and I'm gonna show you uh, later on the pre-workout concoction. But in the meantime, we have a fast pre-workout meal. As I said, after a bigger breakfast, I usually have a kind of like a smaller in volume, but still higher in like in the carbs and everything, in nutrients, and macronutrients, etc. Uh, I don't want a lot of food to sit in my stomach. <clears throat> I kind of want it to like be a lower volume, digest faster and push me to work out. And what perfect for that is, it's not the biggest bowl, but uh, it's still fire. Uh, we have a rice and grinds. We have a cream of rice, peanut butter flavor. Then inside we have a guys, not a butter from Ghost. 20% off with cold oil and the best protein powder in the game. And then we have a serving of uh, peanut butter. So overall for myself, perfect pre-workout meal, perfect pre-workout concoction. It's gonna set, sit well in the stomach, gonna feel good, perform good, etc. So uh, that's gonna be my pre-workout meal. Calories and macros gonna be on the screen. Again, pretty clean, keeping it simple. We do, we, we will change a lot of things. I usually don't eat cream of rice uh, when I'm on a structure meal plan. I uh, don't often eat cream of rice besides an off season. So, and I will always prefer oats or anything else over cream of rice just because of the volume. I'm the huge volume guy. No matter how something tastes as good, I'm all about the volume. So cream of rice, it's way less volume than like rice cakes or uh, oatmeal, etc. So that's the only reason why don't eat so often cream of rice. My whole cabinets are open and everything, but uh, that's gonna be it for this meal. All right, <clears throat> my boys and girls, <clears throat> I'm actually preparing my uh, pre-workout concoction. By the way, new go shaker. I think might be my favorite. Either this one, either orange one might be my favorite, but for today's pre-workout concoction, guys, we're gonna have a, <clears throat> what else that legend all out uh, we have a bag day, so all out it is, you know how it goes, 400 mix, but we're not gonna use a whole scoop, we're gonna use like three quarters of a scoop or approximately 300 milligrams of a caffeine in this, because we're also gonna new, use this new product, uh, which is Gamer, but uh, Face Up, so Ghost collab with the Face Clan Volume 2. Uh, I do also have a guys, which might be one of my favorite, to be honest, recently, energy drinks. So this, just as I'm filming today, today is a Monday, this just got out. Guys, you gotta try this. This energy drinks is actually fire. Might be my top three even. It literally tastes like a, I would say like a Sprite Mountain Dew or something like that. So pretty much one scoop of a gamer, which is no tropic. We're gonna use that and we're gonna use a cherry lime it, lime it all out. I'm actually gonna 
do it right now. You know, when you inhale this smoke, then it's like, ooh, you're all around the place. So as I was saying, three, qu three quarters, this will be like this. Put it inside, put it bitch inside. And if this is cherry limeade, and this is pretty much like a Sprite, so you can mix those two. Uh, I kind of like it, I don't know. Because it's lime, lemon flavor as well. So one scoop ski of that as well. And then on the side, because I don't want to mix the flavor, and currently I don't have a natty flavor, so natural flavor, uh, is pump, but I'm going to mix that separately. And uh, yeah, we're going to go and hit a bag session. Today, I'm not filming a bag for you guys, because this video is just a kind of informational start of a prep, showing you again what I'm eating throughout the day and stuff like that. Uh, because also, your boy has planned two workout videos this week, and it's gonna be, if you already wonder, it's gonna be one with the James English, and the other one is gonna be uh, with the Sean Shizzy and his brother, probably. So, that's on the menu for you guys, so I'm not gonna implement any workout today. With that said, I'll see you guys probably after I come home from the gym, and then we're gonna go through some other things that I wanna tell you as well. So, catch you later. Alrighty guys, as I walked in the house, I still have a shoes, literally. But thank God for MegaFit Meals once again, huge shout out to them. You're always gonna be seeing me shout outing the mega fit off season on season on cut uh, preparing for our shows i absolutely love mega fit come home put everything in an air fryer or microwave meal is done so that's pretty much what we did and it's gonna be rolling on the screen poster cut meal i've been on a potato kick lately I, I absolutely enjoy and love potatoes especially those from mega fit meals which i need just to put in an air fryer so it's pretty much always fresh and done in like 10 minutes in an air fryer because it's already pre-cooked kind of. Uh, so we have a, this is only a half on this plate that you watched or you're watching right now. Uh, we have a 500 grams of a potatoes and we have a six ounces overall, but mixed together a 93.7 beef and a lean bison from Paris, from, uh, also from Megafit Meals. So half beef, half uh, bison. Usually I would pretty much have chicken and rice after the workout. Today I decided to go with this one. So, you know, not every single day is the same, but we are still keep... Cookie, I'm filming the video. What do you think? Dog. We are pretty much keeping everything uh, clean throughout the day. Workout was pretty good, pretty successful. Now, we're gonna have probably one smaller meal, kind of a snack in between, smaller meal, yeah. And then we're gonna have our last meal of the day, which it's not gonna be any more huge as well as it was before unfortunately because we are starting to clean up our diets but uh it's still gonna be probably the biggest meal of the day so i'm gonna enjoy this meal guys right now and uh i'll catch you right after i'm done with that so i'm gonna watch a little bit to youtube relax uh, that's that's pretty much it i think yeah later <laughs> All right, guys. Someone wants to say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> Look. Who that? Who that? Can you see yourself? <laughs> I just, guys, came from a walk of this little creature. And, um, yeah, came home and now we're gonna have a... Took a little pause from everything. Now we're gonna have a little... Um, Little, little kind of smaller meal before a dinner because I love to have a kind of biggest meal before my sleep. Don't copy that. Probably not gonna work for you. It works for me. I've been I've been eating like that for a long time now. A couple of years already. I just like to leave a uh, biggest meal for the day. In the end of the day, that's pretty much it. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna have. We're gonna have a shout out mega fit meals. I just love mega fit meals. We're gonna have a lot, a lot of enchiladas, which is a pretty small meal. And I do have that, Kelsey always orders that, orders that from Megafit. And then she can't eat it, then I eat one of those, and they're actually fire. And then Kelsey also, also has pepperoni pizza. I usually don't order whole meals from a Megafit. I usually customize my own. 
but we're gonna have only one or two slices just before because I, I like to eat my last meal as a sweet meal so just kind of to kickstart that sweet tooth and also to touch up let me put you down to touch up once again guys on a topic of a, of a prep and how come you know we're starting uh, this how it's gonna look etc um, I am not sure how it's gonna look uh, Alex just told me this morning that uh, I'll probably put you on a on the screen right now just for you guys to see the little video of Alex uh, telling me pretty much the things how it's gonna roll we are gonna keep macros the same we're gonna keep things the same here for really the next couple of weeks um, going into about the 13th week I actually want to transition to the structure 13 weeks out there's not often where there's a clear shift right there's usually like a a, a subtle phase into a into the prep right but because we're already technically being 16 weeks out where i like to start prep now you're in a good body composition so i'm not worried but i usually add the structure in right now but we're gonna hold you for the next couple of weeks transition to structure for week 13 and actually start pushing cardio up a little bit more as well during that time i want to keep food high for a longer period of time but with us being already at 12 weeks out you gotta understand it's gonna be a different approach uh, simply due to the fact that mainly a different approach into like how you were for the amateur Olympia, um, because the reality with that is you are, you we peaked you for our show already prior to that. So it's going to be a little bit more of an aggressive push out of the start until we get you established. And then we're going to start tapering from there. Dairy and all that shit. I like, try to limit that stuff and start until you're 16 weeks out, right? You look good, right? I'm not saying you don't, but in the same breath, we can fine tune and get to where we need to get to. So the structure and, and the and the pull down doesn't have to be hard, right? It's just more of a smooth transition. Uh, so yeah, you heard the man. So now how it's gonna look different. I'm pretty sure it's gonna look different in terms of uh, faster dropping the calories, faster increasing the cardio and everything is gonna be pretty much faster. With that said, it's gonna be tougher because, and you change things pretty fast and your body still didn't adjust to the like small changes. Then you're getting hungry, then you're getting the munchies, then you're getting uh, all of that cravings and stuff like that. So last time our prep was really, really long and that's why I was able pretty much to eat on my peak week around 4,000 calories because we had a plenty of time to adjust my metabolism, plenty of time to, you know, for a body to adjust the structure, meal plan, etc. Now we don't have that time and now we'll see how my body is responding under pressure pretty much. I will absolutely love from the bottom of my heart to get that pro card. Uh, I know I have that in me. I know I'm gonna get it eventually. It will be great if it happens this time. And I was pretty sure it's gonna happen this time, but unfortunately, as I said, due to the personal reasons, I can do a longer prep. And if we did a longer prep, I'll probably put more tissue. Uh, but uh, I really hope it's gonna be enough. Uh, I definitely need to work on my posing. This was the biggest judge's feedback from the last show. Uh, back, I've been killing it, so I think back improved Probably not by a lot because we only had three months of off-season, but definitely improve because back was probably the only part that worked really, really hard to improve besides my chest. And uh, you know, we'll see if it's gonna if it's gonna be enough. Uh, but I'm gonna guys document everything for you. And again, starting from 13 weeks out, it's gonna be at least two videos per week. You know, road to pro kind of. It's not gonna be called like that. I need to figure out. So put the comments down below. What should I name the episodes? But um, uh, yeah, we're gonna film record it for you guys. You know, at least I'm gonna go on summer vacation and enjoy being lean shredded. And then even if we don't get a pro card, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna after we come back, after we enjoy the Europe trip and everything, we pretty much gonna come back and start prep, find another shows and, and start the prep again. But I do believe we can get it. I truly do believe, don't get me wrong. I truly do believe. Uh, unfortunately, circumstances are not in my corner. Uh, and chances because of everything that's going on, but uh, you never know, you know, God's plan. Uh, sometimes things don't always go away, and uh, maybe this time will. Yeah, a little chit chat about that. I am excited to start a prep, even though I'm really comfortable in this book for the first time in my life. That's kind of I'm, I'm kind of a little bit sad that I can enjoy this book a little bit longer. My mind, my mind is in the right place right now. My body's in the right place right now. I'm heavy. I push weight in the gym, I feel good, I perform good. So, you know, I would like that it works a little bit longer, so we put a little bit more extra tissue, but it is what it is. It's gonna be a fun one for sure. No excuses whatsoever. In that 13 weeks, I'm gonna put 179% uh, in 
of me into that and uh you know then in the end of the day whatever happens it happens i know i did my best so as always and uh that's gonna be it pretty much i'm gonna go heat up my meals and uh because i still need to eat my last meal it's kind of getting late and i don't want to eat too late right guys last meal of the day and i'm not gonna lie i already dived into this i ate half of this because as you can see the bowl is full uh i kind of forgot that i'm filming pretty tired it's pretty late for me currently 10 15 p.m and uh, i will usually eat a little bit earlier had some work to do so <laughs> it's gonna be the last meal and it's gonna be oatmeal because it was the easiest to make to be honest uh, just put it in the microwave and uh heat it up and that's pretty much it what we do have inside is a uh, man i think like 150 maybe even 200 grams of oats i'm not even sure right 150 sorry 150 grams of oats we have a uh, some pumpkin puree inside just for extra volume uh we also have a uh, two scoops of uh ghost chips ahoy my favorite protein and i think that's pretty much it if, if i reckon so only difference throughout this whole day was pretty much the bigger difference is this last meal because there is nothing artificial besides maybe let's just say whey protein right uh, but usually I will eat my French toast, a lot of French toast. Bread is not bad, but also like if you're not eating Ezekiel bread as a French toast, then like all the other breads have a lot of ingredients that are maybe not so good. Uh, nothing's gonna harm you or anything like that. I'm just saying in the terms of a bodybuilding and structure meal plan consistency, uh, that's probably not the best. And also sourdough bread that I'm eating has a lot of sodium. On top of that, I'm using a lot of condiments, sugar-free maple syrup that I wasn't counting uh, till pretty much now I need to. And just stuff like that that adds up. Morning coffee, for example, guys, that I uh, didn't show you in the morning. I put the almond milk inside. I put sweet cold foam, which is like one gram of fat and one gram of carb per serving. And I don't count that, but like servings are small, so they can add up. Uh, those kind of things like cream and stuff like that, if you don't count, it can add up sugar-free maple syrup you probably put so much that like yeah there is some calories inside as well as i said all those little calories when we started prep are counting it's not bulk anymore so with that said just swapping that for a pretty much for a oatmeal you can't go wrong and i like to eat uh the um something sweet for the other night oh i also forgot to mention guys uh i will also have a this package of a blueberries with my last meal because that's kind of a meal that we have had throughout the prep guys and i'm trying kind of just to for me like even if we are on the same calories and macros structure meal plan for me works the best when my body adjusts to the exactly the same foods every single day i just started like literally shedding that fat off extremely extremely fast so that's what i'm trying to do before we actually get in a structured meal plan i do still have a cheat meal so on those days I will definitely uh, enjoy myself with uh, something extra. Also, he said not to go with pizza anymore, stuff like that. It will be better to go something like a sushi, of course, and a burger, stuff like that. So that's probably gonna be my my next, pretty much. Not Again, a, a lot of artificial things. Even burger is better than pizza, right? Instead of uh, a lot of dairy, burger has some fats and everything, but it's still at least it's still a whole food, right? If you wonder calories and macros for this meal gonna be listed on the screen, and then right after I'm gonna post calories and macros for the whole day, even though I post already in the morning. And it's pretty much irrelevant. I just wanted to like kind of catch up with you guys, show you while I'm already talking full of eating because I know you guys like to see that and I really like to film that. It's just, I can film every single day like same style, like literally, but I just feel that it will be way, like it will be really repetitive because my life right now, especially when it prep starts, I lock in and, and I pretty much do everything the same each and every day it's not so interesting when i'm on prep but um i mean put a comment down below if you want to see literally if you want to see like every single day video i can do that especially on the prep i can definitely do that and provide it for you just let me know if you just it's gonna be pretty much the same video but you know it is what it is i guess uh, and i will do it for you if you want guys and uh what else did i wanted to say this high amount of food is gonna be till 13 weeks out and then we're gonna that's how confident we both are that i can get lean out extremely fast but if you also see i'm really not my body fat is really not high right now so we are at the great starting point on 220 pounds i've never been leaner and heavier so you know my goal was always to step on stage 200 pounds that will be dream come true if that's possible but we'll see guys that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed this video 
Love you guys, I appreciate you all if you're new on this channel. Better subscribe because this is gonna be an interesting journey. Maybe you're gonna witness a, again a new pro and you know, stuff like that. So I love you and appreciate you guys. I'll see you very soon as always on the next one.